what's good kazi family man welcome back to the stew now today i got a part two video for y'all for another video that i've done in the past the opium aesthetic explain video now this one was one of the first ones i did on this channel so i can get how people were kind of complaining that i wasn't really doing a good job but explaining it all going through the steps and whatever bullshit i missed but today i'm here to do just that for y'all man we going with a part two level two whatever you want to call it but today we're going to go a little bit more in depth into the whole opium aesthetic now is affecting our culture today. Now, if you haven't heard, the opium aesthetic is essentially seen as like a mix of avant-garde with a little bit of a streetwear appeal to it. The style was pioneered by previous big names in several spaces such as rock bands, other rappers, video games, and even skaters. They had similar styles and it just kind of got, got more broken down the more time progressed into these sub styles. Overall, this sub style was introduced once again to the masses by none other than Playboy Cardi and his label mates at Opium. Now, of course, you could say that everybody in the label had a part in making this style popular and known. But the people who really made it kind of a lifestyle or a persona that the fans could take on and partake in were Playboy Cardi and Ken Carson. I mean, since the start of the whole lot of red rollout, we've seen these two pull out the craziest all black fits you can imagine. And since the fan base is just really a coat in disguise, it was pretty much it was pretty much set in motion that this style would go on to be as popular as it would, especially with TikTok. Now, it would go on to turn all of these new, I wouldn't even call them new gen fans because a lot of these fans are really just the OGs just kind of giving a new purpose. But it kind of made them take on a whole new persona as a personal cult follower of either Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, or Playboy Cardi. I would say Homicide Gang too, but you know. Even with the allegations aside, like Homicide Gang just, they don't have that same appeal to the fans that Cardi and Ken Carson and Destroy Lonely does. Like, I don't, I don't know, maybe they do, but like, from what I've seen, I don't really see that many Homicide Gang clones or just people who even sound like Homicide Gang. Because I feel like they're just too closely related to Cardi, both musically and just style-wise too. But anyway, this style has kind of been taking over TikTok in the fashion scene ever since, I say around the time Destroy Lonely came out, like, and really got popular. I feel like that's the time where all of this opium core and opium fashion stuff really kind of hit its peak. And this wave will go on to turn hundreds of thousands of suburban teens into clones that dress like they go in a GTA lobby finna run a heist or some shit. In the first video I talked about, I really kind of spoke on the typical fits and videos you'll see in this type of style. But now I'm kind of using this part two as a warning to everybody who hasn't heard already, but I'm warning everybody who's been watching the Opium fan base and you can clearly see how unstable it's becoming. Like it's really on track to, to something, either self-destruction or just something way worse. Like, the whole thing was kind of cool and new at first. Like, I'm not even trying to be, like, a gatekeeping-ass nigga, but, like, now it's just, like, I don't, it's it's always the wrong people that get their hands on something and just ruin it for everybody. Like, this whole aesthetic and fashion thing was cool until people just started dragging it through the mud and just started associating it. Uh, fuck, I can't even talk now. Associating it with like just, I don't know, corniness and just bad jokes. Cause now like, you can't even defend the Opium fan base. You can't even go out and just say proudly that you listen to anybody in Opium without being looked at as a weirdo. And the craziest part is, it's not even just Opium fans that gotta endure this. It's just all people who wear all black or any type of fit like that. It's like, you just always gonna get associated with Opium. Even though you could never, you could never listen to a Playboy Cardi song in your life. You wear all black once, even just a black t-shirt and some black jeans niggas gonna call you opium i swear it's just like the fans are too upset like this lifestyle this aesthetic it just got too out of hand and we we really it's just time to talk about it bro because like it's just it's gotten to a point where yeah like we we just need to fall back or i don't know something needs to happen but I mean, at the end of the day, if the style makes you happy and it makes you feel like you or whatever, I guess it's all right. Cause like at the end of the day, it is just how people take on the whole vibe and just implement it into their own style. But it's just a lot of people don't even like, it's just like this whole type of aesthetic and I don't even know style. 
it just kind of promotes being a clone. I feel like that's really been implemented into the underground culture. Like you, nowadays, you you don't even see a regular streetwear fit with a rapper now. Like all these underground rappers got all this avant-garde shit. Like all these like I don't even know, just taking zesty ass pictures and shit. It's just like it, it got to a point where now somebody just really needs to discuss this because like it, it's just gotten too or too out of hand and it's kind of yeah I don't know. It's just kind of dragging. But that's really all i had to say about that man like it's just crazy how much the style just been dragged through the mud and just how it looked back then in 2020 versus now is it's just kind of crazy man maybe i'm chatting man i don't know let me know your opinions down in the comments do you think this style is overrated drag through or anything you feel me like just drop it in the comments i'm gonna look for it i'm gonna reply i love y'all niggas man thank y'all for over 400 subs we're almost at 500 let's keep going trying to get monetized on this bitch but you know man nigga just trying to grind but either way that's all i really got to speak about this man i just wanted to kind of get this off my chest and kind of also do a part two video to the other one since a lot of people kind of were yeah i don't even know like they they were kind of mad at me for not explaining but like i kind of did to my best abilities like it's not really much you can go in depth here like i was doing a whole bunch of studies and research to a whole fashion scene you feel me like i don't know man maybe i'll go in deeper on the history like what inspired opium in the whole fashion scene but i don't know man maybe maybe we'll see but until then, man, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Y'all stay smooth. Y'all stay safe. And remember, it's always family forever, man. Peace. I can't see my card, 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 card. Can't we fly the board, switch, lane, beat, run, no, lane, can't, no, beat, walk.